Hey there, thanks for checking out this video and today I'm going to just share uh, a brief experience and uh, we'll look at some photos on my desktop here in a couple minutes. But um, I happen to sort of stumble upon an unofficial event here in Appleton. I, and this was a couple weeks ago. Um, I was gonna go downtown and shoot and I was down there. Um, I stopped at my favorite coffee shop, got uh, vanilla chai and then I was gonna head and just walk College Ave so it was really nice out. I knew there'd probably be a lot of people on a Saturday night or this wasn't really at night it was more dusk ish you know five six o'clock somewhere in there and as I left and as, as I started walking on College Avenue I just there were all these people and I totally forgot that when it's nice out we have this sort of unofficial car show that happens I guess and for hours at a time, people, anybody with a with a nice car, a fancy car, a truck, a motorcycle, whatever, just rides up and down College Ave. And it used to be something way back in the day that was actually illegal. Um, you know, cruising the Ave, as it was called. If, if the police saw you going more than, I think, past them like three times or something, you could get pulled over and have a ticket or whatever. But anyway, they've given up that idea and so, What'll happen is cars just go up and down and there's just people everywhere. And I totally forgot about that. And it was, there, obviously there's an energy and there's a vibe downtown that just isn't there. And it was really neat for a couple of reasons. One was that I saw a lot of, I mean, a lot of the people down there are obviously car people. Now they're totally into cars and vehicles and things like that. And I was, surprised pleasantly surprised I guess to see how many people had cameras I mean actual cameras I'm not talking about like these like there were people with their phones of course some a lot of people were like shooting video but I saw a lot of cameras I saw a lot of like Canon cameras especially but people with trucks would just park on the side of the road they'd you know sit in the flatbed in the back and they'd have a camera and they'd be taking pictures and that was really neat to see a lot of other cameras. I got. I didn't feel like a total oddball out there with, with my Fuji, an actual camera. Um, and so that was really neat. And so the energy and vibe down there was, was cool. And I almost, I have the same attitude. Like when I went there, I wasn't thinking, oh, there's gonna be neat pictures of cars. I kind of treat it as I do um, a parade. And if you saw, I did a video last year about photographing parades. I really kind of ignored for the most part, the vehicles. And that was hard because there's some very loud vehicles down there, but um, I was, I'm more interested as a street photographer, um, as you know, if you go downtown, if you go somewhere in a city or whatever, you're more interested in the people. And when this sort of unofficial car show happens, there's people who aren't usually down there, there's people who are maybe gonna be dressed differently. The environment just changes. It's sort of like weather. When the weather is bad or a lot different, it changes how people behave and so the the you know these cars cruising up and down college Ave, i knew could make for some really interesting photos not necessarily because of the cars and the vehicles but because of the way people were going to behave because of the opportunities that were there that wouldn't normally be there people behaving in a certain way they wouldn't behave on a Wednesday evening or a Tuesday morning or whatever. And so it was really neat to stumble upon this. And I forgot that this happens almost every Saturday, I think during the summer, at least when the weather's decent. So um, a really cool experience. Um, I'm gonna show you how I sort of handled this. I wasn't really prepared mentally at all. You know, it's not like something where, I, you know, if I know I'm going to a farmer's market or a new city or something like that, you can kind of mentally prepare you know, what you're gonna look for, how you're gonna shoot it, what equipment you're gonna bring, things like that. I just, as usual, I just had my normal Fuji X-T4 with my 1680 lens. That gives me an equivalent 24 to 120 F4 um, focal range, which is great. So I was, I was prepared. That's one thing about traveling light and only having one body and one lens. I was very comfortable with my equipment, but I really didn't have any time to prepare. So you're just, you're, I'm just kind of thrown into this and you just start looking around for stuff. And so, um, really cool experience. So let's head to the desktop and I'll share some of my favorites. So let's take a look at some of the images I got here. And like I said, a lot of the stuff, I tried not, not necessarily to focus on the uh, actual vehicles, but this was like part of the vehicle. And I just, I love the, the people's reaction. This guy with the tilted hat is great. You know, obviously, 
until he's checking out these tires, but to have everybody looking at that, it's more about the reaction. Um, this was one where I did take kind of a picture of one of the car, but obviously it was more about this mask in there. It just looks totally freaky when you're, you know, and you're looking at cars and then you see this head. And I like the fact that I have just the corner of her glasses and her eye. You can see that she's looking at me taking a picture of her car. Here is one, just two people, you know, watching the cars drive by and you have, you know, they're not connected at all. They don't know each other. You have a woman sitting here drinking some sort of beverage with her shopping bag and this guy here just kind of smoking. Here's just some people that had, I don't think they had anything to do with the car show. They were probably out doing who knows what, just a bunch of cone heads walking around. This was one where I've seen this guy before. He has a, this Elmo helmet and I really wanted to, again, this is the stuff I learned from Saul Leiter. I just, I, I don't want the distraction of everything that's around. So I use the pole to sort of provide some negative space. And of course, red is what your eye usually goes to in a photo. Um, this was neat. I just like the feet dangling, um, and the purple light that's on this, this, um, structure here downtown. This was just in one of the store windows, nothing to do with the car show at all. doesn't matter. I see something that's neat. I'm going to take a picture of it. This was cool. It was open. One of the schools obviously had prom and this is when, when I took this picture here, obviously, like, I think you can maybe see the bottom of them right here, their feet in the blue dress approaching right there. And I took a few of these. I wish they were a little closer together, but I love his eyes. How he's checking that guy out. Here was one of the photographers I mentioned. I don't know what he's shooting with here, but he actually had, this must be something he does regularly. He's got a portable speaker here. That's his daughter. I think his wife is over here and they, and they brought like a cooler full of stuff to eat and drink and they make a night out of it. And, um, sitting on the roof, what a great angle, um, to get all these cars coming by. This was neat. They had a bunch, like I said before, there, some of the cars and the motorcycles were really loud. And this kid was walking by and these cycles came by and he just, he put his fingers in his ears cause they were too loud. I was tempted to do that myself a few times. This was neat. This was just, again, this is something I love to do. And I love having the Fuji here. Um, and I do this kind of saw lighter thing where I use the vehicle that's on my side of the street. Uh, parked in the street, this red one. And I let that sort of be the lead into what I'm really focusing on. So this is all out of focus. This was at F4. Oh, cause that's as wide open as I can go on that lens. And I'm, I'm, you know, I really want most of the picture, most of the actions up here. And this is all negative space. And this guy was kind of driving by, he's out of focus or a little blurry, but he kind of adds to the picture. Um, and she's just sitting on the trunk with her phone. She's watching the vehicles go by, texting, things like that. So that was um, all I got in a couple hours. I actually, the best thing about this night is I ran into my son. He was home from college and uh, and he went down there because he loved cars. And I, well, I hung out with him for a good half an hour and we just watched the vehicles go by and things like that. But it just, you know, not many of these are about the vehicles. They are about you know, the people and how they're reacting and, and things like that. And just other things that it really don't have much to do with the car show at all. So if you go to some event, um, you know, the idea, maybe not necessarily to focus on things that make the event what it is, but look at the people who are at the event as a street photographer. I think this is somewhat obvious, but, um, I have a couple in here where I did actually, cause it was really neat to take some more standard images. So, um, hope that was enjoyable. Give me a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. If you haven't done so, uh, yet, uh, keep hitting the streets and taking photos. We'll see you soon with another video. Thanks. Bye-bye.